Hey, what is up guys? Welcome back to another video, and in this video we're going to be continuing on with our Swift programming tutorial series, and in this particular video we're going to be talking about static properties and methods in Swift. Now, what exactly are static properties and static methods? Well, to take a look back so far, we have, we've created properties and methods uh, in our classes that have not been marked as static. And that means that each of those properties and methods belong to the instance of said type. So in our, uh, in our person or employee classes that we had before, we had our getInformation method that returned a string. That method belonged to each instance of a person or an employee object. Uh, in, in person, we had first and last name. Well, those properties belonged to, the, to an instance of person. Or with employee, we had, empl we had employee ID. And that, again, belonged to an instance of person. Every instance of person had its own employee ID. But the thing about static, when you mark something as static, uh, that means that property or method belongs to the type itself, not to the uh, not to not to an instance of the type. That is the big distinction. Uh, static is often used uh, for things like constants. When you need constants throughout your code. Uh, you generally will use static, uh, so that way you can just say, let's say you have a class called constants with all your constants inside of it. You could then just say constants dot, uh, let's say blue if you're assigning co if you're assigning um, constants for colors within your app, stuff like that. You could also say for an app, create an alert class, and this alert class would have many static functions to create different styles of alerts. So that you know that that's how that's generally how static works in some real world examples. Let's go ahead and create our own example of using static. We're going to create a constants file and we're going to create some uh, constants in that file and mark them as static. So in Xcode, what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to create a new file, create a new Swift file, and we're going to call it constants. All right. Now, what we're going to do is we're going to go into our constants file. And in here we can say class constants And then inside of the body of our class, we can say static. Uh, let's call, let's say let, because this is going to be a constant. So static let. And let's say we want to create a constant for an SF symbol. Uh, that's just a that's just like the outline of a document icon. Well, I already know the I already know the symbol for that. So we can say doc symbol equals doc. We can also do a static let. doc fill symbol equals doc dot fill. 
So these are just these are just two constants you can create. Um, it's the perfect way to kind of go in and pick and choose, uh, you know, your symbols, and then put them all in a constants file, so then you can reference them later without having to hard code the strings every time. So that that's kind of where static comes into play, and it's very useful. You could also create a static function that returns all of the constants. So, so we can say static func we can say get all icons Turn an array of them, and we can say return doc symbol and doc fill symbol. Save that. Okay, let's go into our main file now. We say main Swift. Okay, and there we go. All right. Here. We can now say uh, print constants dot, and then we can and then we can see we have all of our different uh, properties or methods on the type itself. So, So we have doc fill symbol, we have doc symbol, and then we have get all icons. So let's go doc fill symbol, prints constants dot doc symbol. And then we can print constants dot get all icons save it run it and there we go we now have everything printed out to the console what if now what if we tried to create an instance of our constants so we can say var, let's call it C for now, equals constants. Okay, now we can, we can create this instance of constants and it will work, but if we say C dot, You can see we don't have access to the uh, doc symbol or the doc fill symbol or get all icons method on an instance of the, uh, on an instance of type constants because, as I mentioned, if you mark something as static, a an instance of that class or struct does not own it. So you can't access it from an instance. It has to be accessed from the from the type itself. So that pretty much does it on this uh, video for 
static properties and methods. Thank you all so very much for watching, and we'll see you in the next one.